As a healthcare practitioner, you likely know that the misuse of certain prescription drugs intended to promote wellness and alleviate disease may, in fact, lead to addiction and even death. Hi, I'm Dr. Harry Chen, Commissioner of the Vermont Department of Health. I've been an emergency physician for almost 30 years, and I've seen the problem of prescription drug abuse firsthand. In our current healthcare system, patients can and often do see multiple providers putting themselves at risk for dangerous drug interactions, dependency, addiction, and even overdose and death. Yeah. Furthermore, a growing number of prescriptions are being diverted for use other than their intended purpose. The Vermont Prescription Monitoring System, BPMS, helps prescribers and pharmacists better manage the dispensing and prescribing of controlled substances. The purpose of BPMS is to give you as prescriber and dispenser a complete picture of the controlled substances that your patient uses and help guide therapy and even guide referral to substance abuse treatment. Act 75 mandates that prescribers and dispensers of controlled substances register with VPMS. And even though VPMS is best practice, Act 75 mandates its use in these four particular instances. One at least annually for patients who are receiving ongoing treatment with an opioid schedule 2, 3, or 4 controlled substance. Two, when starting a patient on a schedule 2, 3, or 4 controlled substance for non-palliative long-term pain therapy of 90 days or more. Three, the first time the provider prescribes an opioid schedule 2, 3, or 4 controlled substance written to treat chronic pain. And four, prior to writing a replacement prescription for a Schedule 2, 3, or 4 controlled substance. VPMS makes it even easier for you, allowing delegates in your office to access the data for you. We hope this video will assist you by providing instruction on how to query VPMS. Please help me promote the health of Vermonters by using the Vermont Prescription Monitoring System. Thank you. To access and use the Vermont Prescription Monitoring System database through Rx Entry, please go to the Vermont Department of Health webpage. From here, select Contents A to Z. On the upper right hand side, select V for VPMS, and then select Vermont Prescription Monitoring System, which brings you to the home page. Next click Login. This brings you to the Rx Entry home page, which features a picture of the Vermont State Capitol. Click on the Login button on the Rx Entry page. Type your username and password in their appropriate fields and click OK. If you are a prescriber, your username is your DEA number and is case sensitive. If you're a pharmacist, your username will be VTRPH and your Vermont license number. Your temporary password was sent to you in an email when you registered with the VPMS. You were then prompted to create a new password. Take a moment to read the information on the screen. When you are finished, Click on the I accept the above conditions checkbox to continue. Without selecting the checkbox, you will not be able to access the provider query screen. From the home page, click the practitioner pharmacist query. This screen is where you will enter the recipient's information. An asterisk indicates required fields, last name and first name and date of birth. For best results, a broad search can be helpful. The last two fields to complete are the dispense timeframe to and from dates. The information goes back to July 1st of 2008. However, the date automatically defaults to one year ago. Once all criteria has been entered or selected, click Submit. A list of recipients matching the provided criteria will be displayed under the Recipient Report heading. From here, select the desired recipient's name. Once you have the desired recipient's name selected, click Request. The recipient report shows the history of all controlled substances prescribed to the recipient as well as other information pertaining to each prescription, such as the date dispensed, number of authorized refills, prescription numbers, and more information. When you are finished sorting, click Generate Report. The query has now been submitted and can be accessed through the View Query Status from the menu. A message stating that the query has been created and can be viewed when finished running will be displayed. 
Click View Query Status from the menu on the left side of the screen to view the query status. Once the status of a report has changed to Approved, Done, the Job Sequence ID field will contain a link to view the report. When you click on the link, a dialog box will open asking if you would like to open the report to view it, save the report to a specific location for viewing at a later time, or cancel to return to the previous screen. This is the final query report. From this screen, you can use the toolbar to save or print the report. Note, the query will remain in the database for 14 days, after which it will be automatically removed. If you print a copy of the report, remember to follow your facility's protocols and policies regarding the destruction of confidential records. Logging out. To ensure your log on username and password are not used by an unauthorized individual, it is important that you log out of the system when you have completed your session. To do so, click the Log Out button from the Rx Entry menu. Clicking Log Out closes your session and allows you to re-enter the system by simply supplying your password. If you do not plan to use the system for a period of time, click Log Out and then close all open internet browser windows to prevent another user from inadvertently attempting to access your session. Please remember that 15 minutes is how long the query will remain on the screen, and 14 days is how long the query will remain in the queue until it is automatically deleted. Multiple Query Report Here is how to search on multiple patients at one time. This can be extremely helpful for those providers who know what patients they will be seeing the next day and can prep the charts the day before. In this search, you will be entering in multiple recipient information into the appropriate fields. A list of recipients matching the provided criteria will be displayed under the Recipient Report heading. From here, select the desired recipient's name. Once you have the desired recipient's name selected, click Request. A message stating that the query has been created and can be viewed when finished running will be displayed. Click the View Query Status from the menu on the left side of the screen to view the query status. Once the status of a report has changed to Approved, Done, the Job Sequence ID field will contain a link to view the report. When you click on the link, a dialog box will open asking if you would like to open the report to view it, save the report to a specific location for viewing at a later time, or cancel to return to the previous screen. Click Open to open the report for viewing. This is the final query report. From this screen, you can use the toolbar to print the report. Retrieve username. If you've lost your username, you can enter in the email address you used when you registered for your account with the VPMS. Enter in your username for the account. This is your DEA number if you're a prescriber. Or a pharmacist, your login name will be capital VTRPH and then use your Vermont license number. An email will be sent to the email address for the username entered, and the email will contain a new system-generated temporary password. Once you log into your account for the first time with your temporary password, you will be prompted to set up a new password that is unique to you. For more information, please go to the Vermont Prescription Monitoring System webpage. You can find information about frequently asked questions, how to register delegates, information about the data in the Vermont Prescription Monitoring System, and more. Thank you for watching this training video. You will now join thousands of your colleagues across the state promoting the health of Vermonters.